Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa Kucher. I'm founder and owner of Healthy Fashion Campaign, and I'm the author of Healthy Fashion, The Deeper Truths. However, I am no longer working on those businesses, and at this point I am focusing on energy, Lumerian technology, channeling, and healing. Not really healing. Channeling Lumerian technology. And I call it the violet flame energy work, but basically I am deactivating the hive mind matrix. I am helping. I'm not the only one doing this. And a lot of people actually uh, want me dead or want to kill me over it. Um, and she has already made her presence known that she's listening. We've already had this talk the last video, but anyways, this video is for my twin flame Shia, and I wanted to make this video, I actually can't even wear this because it's too hot, but I wanted to put this on because I, if, if Shia saw this shirt, he might think that this is an old video because he already saw this t-shirt. So anyways, this um, jacket, I really need a new jacket, but it's mid-weight and I have this that I carry around now because there's so many people in this building that are attacking me. Several people. Um, and we're not going to go into detail about that right now. I really wish I could just put this fan on, but it's going to be too noisy. Um, it is pretty hot in here. I'll tell you how many degrees. So I don't usually make this video right now, but I want to. It says 73, but there's no way it's 73 degrees in here right now. Uh, I want to make this video for you, Shia, uh, now because I want to explain to you the video that I really want you to uh, work on if you can. If you're watching and listening, I have an idea that you are. And I posted some videos, I share, I, I added some videos on my playlist, Strokes and Scoliosis, and I deleted them because they weren't really, let's just say they weren't really appropriate if, like because of this court trial that's going to be coming up in the future, it just wouldn't be appropriate to have those videos on there. Um, so I took them down, but I'm pretty sure you saw them before I took them down. But I really do want you to do those videos. But the most specific video that I want you to do, anyways, there's going to be also interference. There's going to be AI and all of this. This is a video about my spiritual life, uh, mostly about the criminal activity that's being done ag against me and my twin flame, Shia. Uh, he's probably had equivalent or more, and I know that you are in trouble. Uh, you've had uh, so much happen to you, and I'm pretty sure you're very sick right now and weak. So the, the best thing that I can tell you to do is, if you can, um, print out a picture of me and then put it under your shirt. And this is what I do. I put your face right here on my heart. And this helps me, calms me down. And that's, that's one thing that I, just one thing that I do. But that's one of the most important things. I keep this right in my shelf. I'll show you. Actually, no. The computer's plugged in. I put it right underneath. There he is, underneath in that, right next to the table. So there's going to be uh, a interference. There's going to be people um, trying to make me stutter, say things that I'm not supposed to say. Um, there's going to be um, a, a lot of interference, and I, I'm not going to be able to catch everything. So if I do say something off, very off, then I probably am not the one that said it. So, um, yeah, there's this this building in general is very filthy. A lot of um, bad people live here, but it's also a miracle that I am living here because uh, this is basically I've already told you this is like basically the only furnished apartment that I've owned. This bed is not mine. Um, this came with a little piece of furniture, but I removed the furniture that they gave except for the bed, and that this furniture is mine. 
But this is a tiny little spot uh, in regards to my situation. Um, there's been so many ghetto things that have happened to me and ghetto people that it's really hard to, um, you know, and this person is already trying to act like this is all about her and they've already said this. They're using this person a lot right now, very, um, very, very weirdly and creepy. It's very, very creepy. Um, so, and I, So, um, I had to. The thing's walking all over me. She's a lesbian butch predator. Lesbian butch predator. Um, if you want to play with my private parts, if you want to be a female in my brain, listening to my brain, you're a lesbian butch predator. Pervert. Drug dealer, drug addict, blah, 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 blah. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of these one, these people. Like... A lot of them in this building, a lot of them all over the world that are attacking me and my twin flame. So, I'm going to show you, I want to show you the video that, uh, and that I really want you to do. And this is because your, if your DNA was stolen and somebody is preying on your DNA and mating with it, um, this video I did several hours today and my face actually dropped and aged like 10 years playing this video um, and I believe it's because it was working uh, hold on let me find it I'm not going to repeat it out loud and I'm going to try to also spell things out because I know I'm not getting a lot of views they're already playing with my body and I also want to tell you Shia um, and if anyone else is listening, I, I just want you to know that there's going to be mostly negative things that I'm going to talk about. But every time, like when I'm doing the violet, the energy healing mark, not energy healing, the Lumerian, te channeling the Lumerian technology against the reptilians, the dark ETs, the demon, dem demonic entities, whatever you want to call them, um, they shift my spine all day long and try to curve it all day long. And I think that they're trying to give me strokes. Uh, with my spine among, among other things so this is the the video that I, I want and this is for hus it says it's for to protect your husband but it's, it can also protects me um, this is what it looks like I'll read it out rock here to protect your husband from black magic of love and fornication with other women I'm not saying that you are that's not the point here this that's not who uh, that's not me talking it d what it does is forbidden relationships and obscenity with other women this, my, I'm not saying my twin flame is doing this to me I'm saying that the Illuminati has stolen his DNA and this DNA is being used sexually he's being raped so please do this video you're gonna get an extremely strong reaction and this is for me too because I'm getting raped. Uh, I got raped 10 hours today. S sexual stimulation with artificial intelligent weapons, gins, the gins in, still in my body. Um, so these rakyas are working, but because I have 37 years worth of black magic on me, including my twin flame, um, so severely, so he has so much severely black magic on him and voodoo from the cloning that um, it's a miracle that he's alive. And it's a miracle that I'm alive as well. Uh, I don't want this video to be all about me though because I do talk a lot about myself and it's, it's really rude. But some things I wanted to talk about, um, I'm getting closer to his face and his body because of these ruckus. I'm getting closer to your face, your body, your mind, your energy, spiritually. Um, so I have notes here. What else did I want to share? Because I, I don't want this video to just completely be about the evil stuff. I wanted to talk a little bit just about regular stuff. 
and basically um, people are trying to murder me and people are trying to murder my twin flame and it's been told I was even in the hallway and this guy walks by me and goes watch your man instead of saying watch your back he goes watch your man you know what that said, that means watch the clone watch your man watch my twin flame watch your back your people want to kill you what else do people say this week um I did end up going to Target because I had $40 and I bought some watermelon, green peppers. I've had, I, I'll tell you, oh yeah, the whole reason why I'm doing this video is because I was afraid I was going to get uh, food poisoning because they were doing black magic on my food and I was eating shrimp cocktail. I bought frozen shrimp and I dethawed it in a bowl of cold water and I didn't rinse them off well. but. Even after I rinsed them, they smelled a little, but I continued to eat them, and I was being controlled to continue to eat them. So I was I was salivating a little bit. I still I am still salivating a little bit. My stomach is a little achy, but I don't believe I'm going to get food poisoning. Um, but this is what they do. They 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 do these things where they try to uh, make me ill all day all all the time. So. I need to get out of this um, shh quiet. And if I say shh quiet, that's not even me talking. They're trying to like this, build this story like I have these major communications on this B2K mo monitoring thing. It's not communication. I'm being attacked and screamed at nonstop 24 seven. And there's no communication back and forth. They're having conversations in my head. And people actually give me uh, signs that they're um, listening to my mind but the thing is uh, they're raping my asshole they put knots and gins in my vagina and my butthole and <laughs> that's how they're surviving these parasites these parasitic entities are surviving off of me and my twin flames private parts so if you think this is a spiritual war living in uh, off of my private parts and the bullying that's happening with this person spying on me and listening and shit it's out of control and it's not all about this person this person has a major ego and pride and a drug dealer I haven't even been able to fucking be, go in the kitchen because I had to be quiet while the drug deals are going on okay and, and I'm not venting about that this whole time uh, this really in the matter of 37 years of torture and crime, this is a fucking joke. So they're trying to distract and, and like act like this is a big deal and it's fucking not. And if you see if I'm salivating, it's because of that shrimp I ate. And I knew that if I made this video, the food poisoning might go away and go down because I have a stomach ache because I want to talk to Shia. And I have a lot of back acne. And even in my butt area, I have acne and this has been a chronic going, happening and I looked up the symbol of it and it's because I can't express myself. I can't imagine how you're feeling not being able to express yourself uh, but you do talk to me and you are inside me because you're half my soul so don't um, think that we don't have any form of communication but I had some really weird dreams in the, oh yeah, I was woken up at 3 a.m. And I'd been, I was raped from 3 to 11, 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. I was raped, nonstop. And nothing, no rakya could stop it because I don't believe it's just the jinns. They use weapons on top of it that are not completely, rakya can't completely stop it all the time. <coughs> um, but I had some dreams about the Twin Flames clone's wife. She was with her mother on a twin bed posing for in a newspaper magazine, like making fun of me in my bed, uh, like my little bed, like I'm a little child. Um, there, there's a whole building here living with twin, in, 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 twin beds, most of them. <laughs> and what was the other one? Oh yeah, I was cleaning my mother's house because that's what I was, that's what I was doing my entire childhood and adult 
life when I lived with her and I was cleaning. I was a little cleaning slave. And what happened what happened with that? Oh that's where she found the little newspaper article with Twin Flames clone's wife with her mother sitting in a chair on the end of the bed with the Twin Flames clone wife posing like with all this fashion like and um, being all like laughing and what was the other one? Oh yeah she was dancing with the clone and it was totally a fake dream. It was totally set up to make me um, uncomfortable, jealous. Do I have jealousy towards this person? Um, no, I do not, but uh, she stole something, a piece of my twin flame. She stole a piece of my twin flame and thank God that the, it was a mixed clone. Thank God that there's other uh, men involved. It actually makes me feel a little better because if it was a replica of him, but I was, I've been told multiple times there's no way that she would actually um, have a child with a replica of him because the whole reason it was, it was part of the whole torture. She does she deserves death penalty. I was looking on the internet about death penalties. Based on what has happened to me with this person, DW, who was hacked into my computer for 20 years and controlled my electronics, watched, spied, and t controlled, controlled stuff, turned stuff off, uh, deleted stuff, would freeze my computer and stop it, and then when that would happen, it would be like, give up, and I'd have a nervous break. Uh, I can't even get into it. Basically, I'm, so I'm beyond paralyzed from that situation, and um, if you don't think I'm near death from that, because this person has stolen a lot of my spirit from doing the hacking, and watching and spying on me and sort of not let, allowing me to be on the internet freely because of the advertisements and more than just the advertisements. Um, I go to try to print out and like supporting evidence about everything and I actually get into a, a state of unconsciousness where I can't, I almost feel like I'm sick and I can't, if I look in the mirror, I can't even see myself, like I'm gone. Like there's no me. Like I get extremely sick and unconscious anytime I try to attempt to think. So if my twin flame thinks like I don't care whatever like about this person that's done this to me, I have been beyond tortured and traumatized in regards to what has happened to me with this person hacking into my, and terrorizing me that I can't even like move forward. I'm beyond paralyzed and I get sick to the point of uh, unconsciousness um, in such a serious state that I uh, I can't even talk about it in detail so um, I don't want you to think that like I'm not like I go on these videos and I'm like what is she doing like with her time like why can't she get serious about this court case and everything it's like well the thing is <laughs> A lot of it is very covert, and also there's a lot of bullying and control still. I mean, I just ate smelly shrimp. I just sat down and ate smelly, smelly shrimp, and my stomach kind of hurts a little. It's, I'm not going to get food poisoning, but I am frothing a little bit. It would, it, if anything, it would be possibly diarrhea the next day, but I don't even think that. I, I've gotten a ton of food poisoning when I was living in my car. Um, black magic food poisoning and, oh, I thought. So that was awful. Um, but I have not got food poisoning here since I've lived here. I've had a ton of black magic on my food though. Uh, it's being kept away from the kitchen, being kept away from cooking. Um, and also, um, I mean, every time I go in and make food or, or do the dishes, she's banging. It, it, it's out of control. It's been going on for a year and a half. She's a pure predator. And this one is, has mind your, mind your own business. She, he's in a relationship. Um, this one's a creep, like criminal, pure criminal. She's supposed to be in jail. She's been a drug dealing for oh, since the day I moved in. So. I, I'm gonna. I wanted to start with the notes, but uh, that video specifically, I want you to watch if you can. 
and also uh, they're not magicians. I wouldn't even give them the respect of calling a demonic entity a magician, but basically if you practice black magic, you're a magician. Um, but I would call them more like witches, and if anything, a witch, a demonic entity. Um, I wouldn't really even give them the, the, call them the magician. And by the way, um, Sh Shia, uh, DW, he used to put advertisements of this old looking wizard and then um, do subliminals like um, and make my stomach sick saying, I'm the old wizard. Like uh, he, he did a ton of, I'm the pedophile, so you're going to get punished for it. And the fact, that is, the fact is, yeah, he, he did practice pedophilia on me <laughs> uh, a lot. And there's, I know that my twin flame has also, ha, there's been a ton of pedophilia on you uh, with people. And uh, I don't even know where I was going with that. Oh, there's two things I want to clarify that you might have seen online. I, um, when I was living at the yoga s studio, I had photos of raw food. I was forced to make only raw foods, dehydrated vegetables and fruits, only in salads when I was an assistant chef at um, one of the retreats, not, not when I was a kitchen manager. I was, a, I was forced and controlled to make only raw foods and all the cooking was not allowed by me. I wasn't even allowed to help do any of the cooking, only raw foods, and this was not my choice. And at that time, I was only supposed to eat. Um, basically, for lunch, I'd have a smoothie with lime juice and like two or three avocados. My stomach was huge bloating. They were trying to kill me doing that, eating like two or three avocados a day. And I was gagging on the smoothie every single time I made it. So that was black magic. They've done so much black magic on food with me. It's like out of control. Uh, I wasn't even allowed to eat any cooked or canned vegetables because if I did, it wouldn't be any, there'd be, it'd be completely worthless. So you, you're only allowed to eat raw vegetables. And anytime I had a, a salad, I'd get a stomach ache and my stomach would burn. They, uh, so they, they minimized my diet to very, very little, uh, very radically, um, like just, but anyways, that, that was controlled. I, I, the, the whole raw food movement is a huge cult. It's all black magic food. It's completely disgusting food. Um, it's repulsive. The, the diet's repulsive. Anytime I tried to make any of that, it was repulsive. I never got into the complete raw food. But I was punished and made to feel guilty anytime I had cooked food for a long time, for many years. Um, what else? So with that person, um, with the whole raw food cult, that was extreme, that was a torture program. And um, I, I couldn't even have any um, sugar. I couldn't, at one point I wasn't even any, I could only have lemons and limes for fruit. They were, they were making me nutritionally deprived um, in so many ways. This person, DW, has done so much black magic on me for every single day for 20 years that I would probably vomit for, someone told me telepathically I'd vomit for the rest of my life if I knew how much black magic was done to me and on me. And I believe DW uh, uh, has definitely prayed and hurt my twin flame. And that's when I just, I can't, I can't take it, the thought of that happening. Um, he's constantly still being homosexual towards my twin flame and people have told me multiple times he has raped my twin flame and um, th other than that there was other thing I wanted to talk about um, yeah so things were controlled um, people had talked through me and had conversations like my mother would talk through me and have conversations with people in my own body that happen all the time. Um, I don't know really where I was going with that, but I probably should stick with the notes. Oh, I, I want to tell you, I kind of wanted to share with you some food uh, I've been eating. And also, I've, I got this um, sleeping mask. 
and it has lavender in it and it's kind of tight so I want to get a new one but I love the, the feeling of this so today I mean I can't take a nap this will do is rate me uh, during the day I'm not allowed to take a nap but they got me sleep deprived from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. is actually when I started to um, when I started to do the, the, enter, the channeling, the Lumerian channeling because I'm like, you know what? I'm not going lay, to lay down from 3 a.m. to 9 or 10 a.m. and get raped and not be able to just, just sit still and do nothing. And, you know, there is... Uh, I'm not talking about that. And I'm not talking... Saying that, that doesn't mean I'm talking to someone. Like, there's no there's no communication. No, that's not me saying relationship. There's no communication with these predators. It's completely, they're just screaming their fucking head at, at me. And if there's, there is one thing to, to describe this person, DW, most irritating, annoying bug that just fucking bugs, this fucking itched me, itched at me nonstop, 24-7. And people have told me, and this, this person pretty much wants me to tell you right now, because they're, they're saying this to me, that he has visions of ripping my body to shreds all the time. So, uh, the jinns have not left my body. Uh, the ruckus, though, if, if me and you, I'm not stuttering, they're doing that already to me. I am improving. I'm improving with the ruckus more than anything. I've had less rape than typical. Uh, there has been times where I've had breaks from the rape, but not a lot. Um, so the ruckus though are improving and I know I need to do more things. I know I need to do more things. I'm sweating. I don't know. It's, I think they're making me sweat or something because this isn't natural to be this hot right now. Um, the ruckus. I need to do the recitation. I need to do, but I do put play the recitation and take a bath. I do, I forgot to place the ruckus near the water for a couple of days. I just remember that. So like they'll block my brain all the time. So I, I think that you're probably doing better off than me with the ruckus, but it's not everything. It's helping. Um, but. The thing, the, no, there's no the thing is, um, they're, they're just going to try to constantly interfere with this video and, you know, they, before I, I, if I keep rambling on, it's just them just trying to insert and uh, attack you. So, to my twin flame, if you're feeling attacked in this video, please know that I am not trying to hurt you and, um, I wanted to talk to you because I'm, I am happy about what the social media uh, things that the par your parent posted. I'm happy about those photos. Um, I can ex I could pretty much explain them, but I, I, I know that you know that I know what those mean. So I don't want to go into detail because it might get, I don't know, I, I don't want to say too much and then people get in trouble. So. I'm still doing the recipes. If I get food poisoning, which I don't think I will, they're just they're using AI right now to like make it worse because it's so beyond mild. I'm still doing the recipe research every day for about four hours. So basically, I'll use that or the laptop. I don't like to use the laptop because it's really uncomfortable to put it on my lap and they're constantly contorting my spine. I have to constantly fidget it. I just feel like this video is not going well, but I'm doing my best here. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then I'm going to grab my hairbrush to make sure my hair is okay. But this video is for my twin flame and I'm hoping, you know, if you get in trouble with watching this video. So basically we're both in danger and Personally, okay, the Lumerians will give you instructions of when you're supposed to contact me, and that's what I've been told a lot, but at the same time, I just, you know, um, 
I am blocked and controlled to the point where I don't know why we're not together yet. I know that you're in danger and I'm in danger, but at the same time, um, I know we're getting close. Anyways, so, but I have to go to the bathroom and I was gonna, I did a lot, a bunch of screenshots. I, you know, every time I write these notes down, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go on the video, I'm gonna have fun. But they're stressing me out completely. They're stressing me out, they're, they're attacking me, and they're making it uncomfortable so that I'm not having a good time. So if you're thinking, why are you acting, you know, not relaxed and everything, well, you know, uh, my my twin flame, I saw one, oh yeah, by the way, on Twitter, I do not look at Shia LaBeouf's Ghost Rider tweets, I don't look at those, he's a weirdo, and he's playing little mind games with my twin flame if he's reading them, so I do not look at Shia LaBeouf's Ghost, excuse me, Shia's um, Ghost Rider. Um, if nobody's watching this video, luckily, and I will try to flip the video a couple times, but what I've recently learned is, is YouTube will find out if I'm flipping it and then they'll delete the views because they're not going full length. So that's why there was only nine views this time because I didn't like do lengthy ones like to make a few views look like there's a few people watching the video. Um, and my mouth is still frothing a little. I drank lemon juice. I had apple cider vinegar with hot water. Who, it, I'm not dumb. I'm not a fucking retard. I smelled it, it smelled funny, and then I kept eating it. Oh, they've been doing a ton of black magic on fish, seafood, chicken. Um, so when I touch it, it's like alive. Or I just made a steak sandwich with shaved steak. And I could freeze everything and then I put it in the refrigerator. And I think I can't do that. It's because for some reason, I'm messing up the meat and the poultry and the chicken. Because the smelling, like the hamburger, the chili I made this week. The hamburger smelled. I had to dump the chili. And that's a whole, I've dumped a lot of food. Uh, living here, I've noticed because they'll just control my body and throw shit in and be like, oh, this is what you're eating and it tastes awful. So that has happened a lot. Um, black magic with food and the meat and the fish and the chicken. It's really disappointing because DW, he's been doing this to me for years. Uh, messing around with the meat and the fish and the chicken to try to tell me, oh, you're a cannibal, you're a murderer if you eat that, and blah, 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 blah. Then subliminally, this person was all subliminals. There was no like hearing his actual voice in my head, the V2K. Uh, and if you if you think I'm crazy, I don't really care. If you think I'm crazy, you're actually um, not supposed to know who who I am and what I'm doing. And if you don't know, you're probably not. You're just not supposed to know. And if you're not supposed to know, yeah, you're gonna think I'm crazy. So. Uh, let me go to the bathroom real quick. And I have the ocean video playing. Um, oh yeah, this pillow. I really wanted to mention to you my pillow. This is the most comfortable pillow. I need to buy more new pillows. Um, this this is cotton sateen, and this pillow is this is my this is Shia, uh, the most comfortable pillow, and I'll lay with it now. I was laying with the other one, but it would get too hot. This one has a cooling effect, and if you uh, if you can get a, this pillow brand, it's actually kind of um, stained from sweat because I sweat a lot at night time. I'll tell you the brand. I hope I can tell you the brand. That's AI. So this is the pillow I want you to buy. Sleep better. This isn't it. Snuckles. It's. There's no brand on it. That's not the brand. 
I'll have to tell you to you sometime. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Indulgence by Isotonic. Indulgence by Isotonic. This is the best pillow I've ever owned. It was $50 at... What's that called? Bed and Bath and Beyond. So it's the... I think it's the medium to soft, not firm. And this pillow has saved me when at times I've been so sick and ill. And I know that you're going through so much pain. I'm physically tortured every day of my life, no matter what. So if you want to feel my energy, this is the energy of my twin flame. <laughs> and every time I lay on the pillow, it's him. So this has been a, a way to connect with my twin flame because this is the most com comfortable pillow. It was like 50 or $60. This is Indulgence by Isotonic or Isotronic. And I have to get new pillows. Those have to be thrown out. They're very, they're not comfortable, really. And I actually need new sheets too, but you know, I keep buying things and I really can't just like, this was a big expense, this computer was like 200 or 100 and something. So I'll be right back. So I know you're probably going to be upset because I don't, I'm not talking to you and you're not talking to me. And when we meet, I just want you to know that, you know, I'm, I'm telling you things. I know, I know who you are and that's AI. Um, oh, I forgot my hairbrush. And by the way, uh, when I walk, this camera is making me look fatter than I am. My butt doesn't look that big. <laughs> it looks huge when I'm walking. I have little holes in these pants, but I can't. This is the best leggings because there's a, it's a thin waistband. It has a thin elastic, a tiny elastic. It's a thin waistband. And all the leggings out there have thick waistbands and they're so uncomfortable. These are, don't, Old Navy changed the waistband, made a thick waistband. So I have about five pairs of these. Actually, I wanna show you how many leggings I have. You'll think it's funny. So these are all my leggings. <laughs> so these two pairs of shorts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I have like five in the laundry. Because these are all I, oh, these are all I wear. And this is the hat that I wear. Let's see, I, I wear this in disguise to make me look like I'm urban. Eh, I don't, I wear this kind of to make me look, I don't know, it still it doesn't look like me. It's not my style really. Sometimes people, like I wear things that, um, 
aren't really, uh, but the little cat, I love that. Puma cat. Um, I really love that. I think it's protection. This hat's protected me. Oh yeah, this is why I wear the hat. Cause like my energy and everything, I feel so like vulnerable. And then when I put this hat on, for some reason just everything goes down. Nobody's looking at me. And that's what I like. Uh, and plus, you know, when I'm involuntarily talking and everything in, in public, and somebody's making fun of me, acting like, oh, it's because you're a celebrity. Uh, or because you want to be a celebrity. Do I want to be a celebrity? The only reason why I want it to be very well known <laughs> is because not a lot of people, not a lot of people murder nobodies. And if, if m m we're known to people or public people in the public are trying to kill me and I'm nobody, how am I going to win that court trial, you know? All they're going to say is, no, she's a crazy fanatic or something. Like, I don't even know who she is. And that's been said to me over and over thousands of times. When I didn't know you and when it was just me and that uh, um, criminal predator who's been harassing, terrorizing, torturing, kidnapping um, for so long. I mean, I was really scared. <laughs> I'm very traumatized. I have a, a lot of sickness and... Ow, why am I getting itchy? So, I don't... I didn't really like to do that, but... Um, see, I don't have to talk, like, tons of... Like, I'm going to still talk on Saturday, so this video is a little bit like other things. <sighs> and you know what I want to say about the, these people? I wrote them in the notes. I wrote them in the notes. I have to start with the notes now because they're just feeding me these thoughts to make it like I'm some robot. So... But I, th I showed you the, oh yeah, and with this, with the, um, the book with the foods, we can use the, f the pendulum in the future um, with our foods to try to pick out our groceries. We can use the pendulum and have shh, and I'm not shh anyone, they're shooting themselves. This is possession. I'm not schizophrenic, I'm not autistic, I'm not Tourette's. This is possession. It's demonic possession. And they told me that I had all this technology in my body that was possessing me. No, there are these, um, these devils living in my body. And when you play that video, uh, protect your husband is also protect your wife. So Google search Rakia, protect your husband, it'll pop up. And then do that video. It's also going to, all the jinns in your body are going to react because they're all hurting you sexually, raping you. And those are going to be in the way of me and the jinns in my body are going to be in the way for you. Um, so let's, let's get into it. Let's get into the notes, and I'm going to skip a lot because I'm not in the mood to talk about all this. Uh, they're already pushing my back down. Um, oh yeah, I kind of want to show you this desk. I am a little all over the place sometimes. And I don't like this painting that much it's so big for this wall but there's my pink and, and blue ocean this desk see how pretty this desk is I got that at Pier 1 Imports before it was closing it was like something percent off and it was still expensive, it was like $200 and you picked it out so your spirit was in me and 
um, working with me, through me, and we still are, but it's so much interference right now because of all the things that we're doing. But we are working together. And I think the past life that we had, the past life that we had, we may have had to been separated. Uh, we don't even know how, how much, how many hours he worked at that engineer job. It's some kind of industrial, um, I don't, I don't, it was it's some kind of manufacturing uh, and designing products. So we don't know how many hours he was doing, but because they had five kids, they had a lot to do. So also, one of the kids, one of the kids was a burden because she was in a wheelchair and I'm pretty much sure it was a, a demon. So they didn't all have, you know, uh, but she, but imagine, you know, no, I, I'm not even getting into that right now. So let's go through these screenshots so that you um, can do some of these sc screenshots. And I know that you're finding things. Uh, they've done so much black magic on my arms to make me fat. Because you know how DW has tween boobs? He wanted me to be ugly up, up here and hide. What a fucking weirdo. Uh, honestly, 20 years of obsession and black magic against me. If the government found out what this person did to me and you, he would deserve the death penalty. And uh, the, I should have spelled that out because I don't want this uh, video to get taken down. Um, I just, I'm so tired of this person, like, this person, like, just pushing me down in the grave for 20 years. And, you know, you've, you've been, like, tortured with those uh, clones. I mean, seeing your DNA and all those clones, that's so much black magic. All those hundreds, that's a spell every single time. So you have to be very careful with your self because... You know, we're both in danger still, and we're going to always be in danger, I think, for the rest of our lives. Um, let's just see what you want me to talk about, because it's already been almost an hour. And... And by the way, this, like, chaos is not completely me. They're making me, like, look like, sort of... Not me. So, what does he want me to specifically talk about? Generally. And if, him, if I look aged, it's because of that uh, video I played, Protecting My Husband. I'm so glad I found that video. I'm so, so happy. I just, oh, yeah, you want me to talk about genetic health? So let's skip to the notes that are talk about the genetic health. Oh yeah, I believe, I believe that the tra the DNA will be transmutated out of that child. Oh, and if there was three different men in that clone, because I saw the photo of the TV, uh, I believe that that might have been what he's talking about. You talking about? Um, so filthy, so fucking filthy. You can't fucking do that to someone. You cannot do that to someone. You cannot, that's beyond filthy. That person deserves the D-E-A-T-H, D-E-N-A-L-T-Y. And I'm not, I'm not into murder and killing, but you know what? I was mind controlled to not think that this person and other people deserve what they deserve based on how much they tried to kill me and continue to try to kill me, torture and attack me. I've been shh, quiet. They controlled me and made me almost, it's humiliation to think I can take so much abuse, attack, torture uh, and not feel like these people are supposed to get what they deserve. It's unbelievable. So with uh, the genetic health, whether or not your DNA is still in that child, even if it's structurally going to develop, uh, I believe 
the uh, DNA itself will be able to be transmutated because it's spiritual ascension end times things are changing there's a whole world out there uh, I you know I was looking at like the pe there's in the middle of the earth there's like giant flowers that are cannibalistic there's all kinds of universes out there and things that happen and so we know very little and you may know more um, um, and I can't even do research without getting massively attacked with the advertisements and I have to turn it off every time I can't go on to I can't like I can't stomach it and I just look, saw it on the internet today googling a question because that's safe i can google a question and then the pa first page pops up and there's no advertisements on the google page there's millions of nerves in the stomach like the brain has millions of nerves so my stomach is very sick like if it's a brain with um and i wanted to show you the screenshots but I, um we're going to talk about so I believe that I believe that she, I believe the Lumerians cannot screw you over. After watching those clones day after day, week after week, um, I look at those. I think it's healing for me and you when I have seen past photos of the clones because I see your DNA, and luckily, I mean you are you're you are the attractive one. Uh, all of these other ones are fake uh, looking and obviously not my type and um, they're but when I see so bits and pieces of your DNA it's like living DNA so um, where was I going with that? They're completely blocking what I was going to say about that. So, basically, with the transmutation, I think may possibly when I look at those photos, I'm transmutating the spell. When I looked at the past photos over and over and over, um, I think I was transmutating the spells of your DNA in the body. And I know that you've not been, you've had to cope and block it out so you can't stomach it I'm sure and you have been able to you have you've had to have boundaries with it but at this time um, I'm talking and you're not able to vent like me so when I'm talking just think that you're talking too because we're half I'm half your soul and when I did that video with the protect your husband I felt a lot of your presence and it was not fake it was not fake so um, I'm just you know I wish I could just talk freely and look at the camera at you and I'm sorry I'm being rude by looking at these notes I really don't like kept looking at the thing, looking down and not looking at the camera. I think it's rude and I can't help it. And I've had some really good th thoughts about you. Uh, and I have, I mean, I'm notebooks behind of all the things I'm supposed to tell you at this point. I, I believe I'm notebooks behind, yeah. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of sensations, body sensations from these rockies. Because these gins, these devils living inside our bodies. Um, so in regards to the uh, genetic health, um, I'm just, you know, you're, it's a miracle you're alive at this point. If you had a relationship with that person, and I, I'm not trying to trigger you, whether you did or didn't, uh, she's not for you, um, and she's a complete murderer, and she hates you, <laughs> she never loves you, and based on how quick and sudden she was constantly with those clones, I don't believe there was much time 
for you. So I, I have not given gotten any confirmation whether or not something happened between you two. Maybe through the clone, uh, you guys were communicating. Um, they were forcing maybe through the, and see this little cut. They were trying to tell me, oh, you do drugs. You're putting hair in your arm. They always get, anytime I have cuts on my arms, they're telling me I do drugs. I'm 100% drug free. 100% drug and alcohol free. Ah, oh, it's bleeding. <laughs> it did. Um, let me go get a tissue. Oh, I ran out of band-aids. Oh yeah, what was I talking about? You know, that was really, I didn't, I didn't bring that up, whether you had a relationship with her, I didn't bring that up. Someone did that to try to mess with the video and I can't delete this video or, change it or edit it. So I, I never, I never had a relationship with that person that kidnapped me. I never had a relationship with that person, okay? I've never met that person. It's a little unfortunate that your parents met that girl and she was close in a creepy way. But look at the W. He was with my mother romantically with their AI technology and everything. So yeah, they got close, these handlers. And she was a handler to you. But I did remember psychic saying, oh, your twin flame has already has a, a female figure uh, in his life, uh, that's that was really evil. I've heard, I've I've heard a lot of evil things. Basically, she's fucking disgusting. Her body makes me want to gag. If I look at her body, she's got a weird looking body. You can't like it's weird looking. I wouldn't I wouldn't even call it like lizard or creature. It's creature. It's it's a creepy looking body. She literally looks creepy. Her, her figure is creepy looking. Her huge, like her weirdo looking. I don't, I don't look at her. Like, I don't like look, look at her body. Um, but when I, when I have seen her body, like in tight dress or something, she's got a weird looking body. She's got a creepy looking body. I literally have felt myself gagging when I look at her body. It could partly be because of all the rape she's done on my Twin Flames DNA, but she's ugly. She's an ugly looking lady. And she she committed crime because she's so fucking ugly inside and out. And the fact that she did it to other men too. Yeah, she's not gonna go to jail or anything. You know, the oh all these 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 uh uh people that, she, that you committed crime to, they're not they're not gonna say any word. They're gonna it's a secret. It's a secret. This planet is shit. This planet is a shithole. The people on this planet are fucking shills. Um, they have, so basically this was supposed to be Satan's kingdom and now it's end times and Satan's no longer allowed to control and have authority over the planet. And these are a bunch of um, demonic entities that are parasiting off of our bodies because we have souls connected to the creator and they don't. So they need to have stealer energy in order to survive. And the fact that this continues to keep bleeding, if you prick yourself and you keep getting uh, bleeding, I read in Hannah's book, Hannah Kroger's book, that that means you're very ill. Uh, I may not look very ill, I am very, very ill. I'm extremely ill. I really hate putting tissue like that, it's wicked ugly, but I can't help it. I don't have a band-aid, I have to get band-aids. I, I ran out of band, oh, I have a big band-aid. I have a big band-aid. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. I found a little one. I 
and another one. One left. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm not, I'm not jealous of this person who has done this to my twin flame. Um, she needs to get what she deserves, so you can't, you can't be going around stealing DNA and having ch children with it. You can't do that. That's not legal. It's not legal. So, and yeah, I did have a stroke around the time that that person gave birth. So, I know that this, this thing might have been the left side of my body, stroke, you gave Alyssa a stroke. She definitely played a role. And they were told, telling me this week they were doing subliminals to show me with the clone and show, like doing things like that's his DNA inside her. And I did read, when you have a child with a woman, the man's DNA stays inside the pregnant woman's vagina for 30 years. That's just got to get transmutated. Your DNA has got to get out of that fucking vagina. And I know that sounds vulgar and you're going to get triggered from that, but I saw it on Google. And yeah, that's just going to go away. You know, even... Uh, it, it really doesn't appear like this person had any, um, no, this, this, this wasn't an accident. This was timed and planned and she had wanted to do it probably the day she fucking met this clone. She probably wanted to do it for years because I, I saw little clips and pieces on the internet talking about like maternal, um, uh, some like just hinting about motherly um and i know she was hinting about uh, threatening like it's gonna happen i'm gonna i'm gonna have a baby that long so yeah it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my life and after of uh, after 37 years of torture and then that happens i was ready to die that was planned and timed why didn't my father stop it? Why didn't my mother try to stop it? They have that technology. Why didn't they fucking try to stop it? Why wasn't it fucking stopped? That's what, that's what really bothers me. Why wasn't it stopped? It was a crime. Why can't, why can't this person stop hacking into my computer for 20 years? It's a crime. If someone wants to put a gun to my head and shoot me, it's a crime. There's nothing we can do about it. They just want to shoot me and I'm dead. So I think that's part of it. But there's technology. There's technology where they can freeze the gun. There's, te there's this kind of technology. So I believe that there is technology to take your DNA out, just, just kill the DNA and have it transmuted into the spirit's DNA from, from its spirit past live. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. But Lumerians told me and they promised me it's going to happen. That your DNA is not going to stay in that trail. Um, we're not going to, I mean, I'm not a scientist. But the thing is, you don't have to be a scientist to, to uh, with the Lumerian technology. And because we're so blocked and so not aware of what could happen, there's so much out there. Look at the, the planets and the stars. All kept for me. I couldn't even look up in the in the sky and look at the stars for 30 seconds before I went to vomit. Someone did AI on me, so I couldn't even look up in the sky and look at the stars. Or I'd fucking feel like I'm gonna vomit or faint or pass out or like die. They did that too with the woods. Like when I go in the woods, or else I feel like fainting, passing out, dying. Like anything nature, I get extremely sick. So. Can I, and if I'm triggering you with anything, it's not because I want, it's, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to. Oh, yeah. No. Um, I wanted to kind of tell you my schedule, but I wanted to tell you some things I ate, but because of the 
my stomach doesn't feel that well. I don't want to talk about food. So we're going to have to talk about that another time. But I do want to tell you. This could be controlled, but the, I do this. Like, I'll have a, a, a chain of thoughts. Electromagnetic Cookbook by Han Kroger. These are some things I did learn. And she doesn't have pork. She says no pork in the book. Um, I don't think you have pork. And even if you eat it once in a while, or, or if you do eat it, and I'm sorry if it bothers you that I'm thinking things that aren't true. That's I do do that. But there's some things that I used to do that I don't do anymore. I don't eat peas with carrots electromagnetically. It messes up peas and carrots. I don't eat fruit on salad. I never ate fruit on salad. You're not supposed to mix fruits and vegetables unless it's like lemon juice for salad dressing or you know making a cake with orange juice or something. Um, if you put like uh, vegetables grow in the, in the trees and fruits grow on the ground. No, fruits grow on the trees, vegetables grow on the ground, so you're not supposed to mix them too. Electromagnetic, electromagnetically too. Um, there's some things, because like I would feel like my stomach, I would get a stomach ache if I ate like fruits on top of my salad. So you, your body is going to naturally uh, notice once you see what's electromagnetically I can't find it anyways um, what else oh yeah this is what I'll do next Saturday I wrote down titles of ruckus that I'm playing um, but mostly I'm sticking with uh, Rakyas against the kings, the leaders of Satan's kingdom, like Satan, Baphomet, Lucifer. If you Google Rakya kings and leaders, so we want to fight the kings and leaders because they're the ones have to go down because these uh, witches, uh, sorcerers, magicians, whatever you want to call them, they're connected to the leaders, the Satan, Baphomet, Lucifer and the magician wishes are connected to the jinns that are inside our bodies. So there's like this thing, so if we kill the kings and the leaders, which we, I, I have been, lear I've learned, our, our channeling, Lumerian channeling, is very powerful, so if we just hit the, hit the magicians, it's not going to do much, but if we go straight to the, the leaders of Satan's kingdom, then we're going to be taken down. You probably already know this. You probably are doing it. So find the ruckus with, uh, they call them kings. Uh, I really don't wish to call any Satan person king. The kings and the leaders uh, of the satanic kingdom. Um, so, because the magicians, the witches, uh, you know, the magicians and the, the witches, Twin Flame Clone's wife, DW, whoever else, they're being controlled by the, the, the kings and the leaders of the Satan's kingdom. So they're getting the, the, the power from them. They're or being, they're, so it's like a thing. So we want to get the ones that are most powerful. I wouldn't call them powerful, but the ones with the most, I don't know, the most satanic cultivation of evil energy. I have actually learned that they've developed these huge energy clouds all over cities, above cities and everything. And if you want to do a, which you want to do a, a attack on someone on the street, you take the, the black magic right from the negative cloud the uh, above. These I read that somewhere. So so those are the ones I'm, I'm doing. Those ones I'm doing. Well, if I'm getting stroke symptoms, which I talked about that with you last week, and it calmed me down, knowing that you know, and somehow it helped. So that's probably why I'm on here with the food poisoning, because I know that that actually helped me. 
and I don't want to jinx it and get but it's been several days where the stroke symptoms have lessened now, there's been more rape um, but also I was doing the controlling brain mind controlling brain rakia for mind controlling brain controlling I'll show you basically our brain is are connected to our private parts with all the nerves and if our, they're controlling our brains to do the, the stimulation the involuntary stimulation and rape so if we hit our brains with the mind controlling uh, rakya ultimate rakya for jinn controlling your brain or trying to make you mad so this what this has actually like made my brain like fuzzy feeling like it's turning off their connection so you would definitely do that one and I deleted some on the strokes and scoliosis I know that a couple of them may have triggered you because there's a female's hand on a doll and I just took that off I, I just realized that that might just might hurt your feeling it hurt you too much um, but no you've never had any love from a woman besides me and I've never had any love from a man so uh, don't don't worry if, ow, I just got a cramp, gas cramp, whew. So, I don't believe that you've had lovers. And what has ever happened to me is my mother would make me have obsessive thoughts about men that are from a distance. I'm not talking about DW, I'm talking about men I've seen uh, wherever. And, um, no men will ever like me because I have a soul and they're not attracted to me. Uh, and if they are, it's to, to just the, the feeling of wanting to rape and kill me if, if they ever try to date me or anything. But this conversation, um, DW was not a lover to me. He beat the living shit out of me for 20 years. He beat the living shit out of me for 20 years. He called me a child every fucking day of my life for 20 years. He hovered over my fucking head and spied and stalked and terrorized and kidnapped and tortured me for 20 years. You know those people in the courtroom that are getting the D-E-A-T-H-P-E-N-A-L-T-Y? Those like weirdo looking criminals? That's D-W. That, that's one of them. He's one of them. He's beyond humiliated with this ruckus, all the black magic being returned to this to him. He's beyond humiliated. And if you knew everything, Shia, that this person has done to me, uh, it would make you, it would hurt you with anger. It would hurt you. But um, I can't explain every little, every little detail. There's thousands of things that has happened to me. Not a lot of things that I've actually done in life. A lot of no survival, no career, no family, no home, no money. I do those ruckus, so many sensations. I've been chained down with a ball and a chain and humiliation is one of the top things that has happened to me. Humiliation, torture, and physical torture. Physical. Well, I would actually have to say mental torture, too. And there's just not, there hasn't been one or two people obsessed with me. There's been dozens that have had daily interest in doing black magic against me and my twin flame. So, let me see if I'm on track, though. And check out the pendulum and see what my twin flame wants me to talk about.
I really wish I could not hunt Jorba, but they're using, they're hurting me. I have gins in my back that are distorting my body and, and making me... And when I got paralyzed with this, this, well, when I got the strokes and everything, it definitely worsened my scoliosis. I believe the strokes and the, paraly and the scoliosis are together because this body got weak. My spine, the muscles in my body kind of lumped over. Everything weakened, so I lumped over. And that was curling over, so my back was just totally messed up. And then they were using that to, against me. Spiritual health. So I believe that um, our spirits have been together. And... You know, my, the stuff that has been happening to me is hurting you, and so I just, I don't like to think that, like, I can't picture you comfortable, because I'm not comfortable. But so just do, do things that make you comfortable. I hope that you lay in your bed a lot. I think you probably do. Um... This chair's not that comfortable. Um, also, for my spine, though, I have to be careful to lay down all the time because of my spine, but I do walking. So, Shia and Alyssa have had, and how do I feel? No, Shia and Alyssa, Alyssa, I, I, I'm not talking to anybody, okay? There's, I don't know who the fuck anyone is doing this. They're pure predators that are just hooking onto my mind because of what's implanted in my head or whatever. I don't have just two or three devils in my body. People, people have said, you have so much black magic on you that if you found out how much, you would probably die from it. So we've had millions of attacks over the course of our lifetime. Not millions together. You have had millions, I have had millions. And, it, and it's all going to be returned. It's all being returned with these recuse. So even with our Lumerian technology, the, our Lumerian technology with whatever we're doing, it's not about returning and breaking spells. Maybe it's a little bit, but these records are specifically for breaking the black magic, the witchcraft, the artificial intelligence, the voodoo, everything. So today I was raped 10 hours. I've been raped quite a bit. This past, woke me up at 3 a.m., sleep deprived me can't go back to sleep because they'll keep me raping me and this has not just been like once or twice it's happening to me I've been raped every single day that I've actually documented since January every single day a little a lot mostly a lot so I'm writing it down every single day because the past five years I didn't write it down I did some in my notebooks but it's it's death it's, it's murder to, to do this, it's it, it's it, there's there's just my spirit, my soul just leaks out, and that's where if you can find a rakya for soul retrieval, find, try to retrieve your soul because both of us have had our soul stolen, um, parts of our pieces of our soul, soul stolen. So I haven't found a specific one to retrieve soul, but there's there are a few rakyas with this word soul in it that have helped me. Uh, with my soul, with our soul. Um, I don't want to just say stupid like stuff that aren't isn't completely relevant right now. So I'm gonna use my highlighter because I'm skipping through. I, 
uh, some of the stuff that I wrote down is like from the past and some of the stuff I wrote down is for me to tell you but not on the video because I don't want it's I don't want all of my business on the internet even if nobody's watching if there's a chance that someone's watching it you know I'm, I'm already kind of saying too much I, and I know that my twin flame knows this but the thing is if something bad happens to me I want you to know I mean it's my only chance really at this point uh, I don't think something bad's gonna happen to me but also I feel like this is protection because I'm telling you so you're an obs you are basically you're a witness if they don't have souls okay so we're fighting this spiritual battle against a bunch of demons um, that are soulless it's not a fair fight because they don't have a soul so we're not the competition uh, we're our, who are our competition well I've been told our competition are the leaders in the Satan's kingdom not these uh, demonic entities living in human bodies so our competition is not the soulless humans, even though they're the ones killing us. Our competition are the the leaders of Satan's kingdom. That's who we're supposed to be fighting, and that's what we, who we have, have been fighting, I believe. And I think a lot of these attacks, they're taking credit. These humans, dem dem demons in human costume, they're taking credit for the pain that we're getting, but these one, the it's the the ones that are um, because when all if they if all they're worshiping they're, they're worshiping their leaders they're getting all the stuff and obviously yeah they're more powerful because they're the leaders if I okay no we're not we're talking about that so this is actually a small world. Um, it feels really like so much, so many people involved with this. But you know what? They're all like little specks of sand. That's how powerful they are. They're little specks of sand within the grand, within the universe. All these little demon, demonic entities. They're like specks of sand. Um, is this is a small world? So we have been dumbed down. Sh like sh we don't have the big picture. So I was told that. So some of these notes are from telepathic supporters, my spirit guides, or possibly um, people that want to help us, that know things that we don't. So basically, um, that person, DW, who was hacked into my cell phones, my laptops since I was 25 years old uh, I knew uh, it was possibly it was more than before 20 25 that's when I found out um, so this is not just my computer this is my twin flames computer so you're hacked into my twin flame Chias computer and cell phone And honestly, he likes to like um, try to act like, oh, you're attracted to me. Because he likes to have the, his little, like he, he likes to think about himself sexually in my head. And well, I remind him, uh, you want my twin flame, okay? Uh, you're a faggot. <laughs> so, and, and he, he truly, he's, he truly is bisexual faggot transgender the, the the tween boobs he did something i'm thinking with his uh raw food nutrition superfoods to make them look and appear tranny because those don't look fucking like normal man boobs that's why I, they're not man boobs they're tween boobs they're tranny boobs uh okay so um also in the Rakya, they said if there's one thing that we should start taking is the dates and the honey. And I tried putting honey in my coffee today with some oat milk. I don't, I like drinking milk, but they always spoil, so I get soy or oat milk. 
Uh, coconut milk isn't that great for me anymore. I used to drink a lot of coconut milk, and that was black magic. It was didn't settle well. Well, not all coconut milks. And I want to talk to you about nuts and seeds. In the last video, it kind of bothered me because I told you I'm allergic to nuts and seeds. There's a lot of black magic with nuts and seeds because I can have nuts and seeds, but it's specific at specific times and specific ways that I do it is when I start getting itchy. Um, I, they've done a lot of black magic on nuts and seeds, and when you were when you're a when you're a raw foodist, they live off of nuts and seeds. So the DW is making trying to um, punish me for not being a raw foodist, but then if I try to make something with nuts and seeds, um, he he do black magic and give me a severe allergy against them, and then say it's impossible for you to be a raw foodist. It's impossible for you to be healthy and live. So, this person played a lot of games with my food. Uh, a lot, a lot of games. Played with my fucking body, gave, gave me a fucking belly for so many years, and then started with the arms after the belly. It was the belly and then the arms. And ruined my teeth. I want to show you a picture of my teeth. I wish I would have, I, I don't know if I can find it. before I got the fillings. If I, I may have Googled it to myself in my Gmail account. I wish I had the picture of my teeth. I mean, I can't possibly look through the Google photos and find it. Anyway, there's like holes and everything and it's on one of my phones. I, I can't I can't possibly find it right now. I'd like to show you really bad, but anyways, with that raw food diet, I never really had a raw food diet. But this person was pressuring me and making me feel like I am not a good person if I don't have a raw food diet. And then he, he goes and starts eating uh, whatever, not being a vegan, raw Buddhist, which is a cult black magic diet. It's witchcraft diet, witchcraft food. Made me sick anytime I had raw food. Um, it's a cult too. They try to lure people in, eat just eat fruits and veggies, and they possess you with a bunch of demons because you're weak. Um, there's a lot more to that story, a lot more. There's hours and hours and hours worth of food torture. Hmm. Anyways, I'm not gonna find it. So, so DW, D-A-V-I-D dash space W-O-L-F-E and Twin Flings clones wife M-I-A They are 100% qualified for the D-E-A-T-H space P-E-N-A-L-T-Y So um, a telepathic supporter told me that today tell you. And then you already know this, I know. Oh yeah, well, we're gonna look up what he want what does my twin flame wanna talk about? I don't use this as much anymore because of this. It's weird. I think it's a spell. Or they've done me, me put black magic on it. And I had a dream. I had a dream a couple nights ago. My mother's wallet changed, and she has a wallet with a talisman of a royal crown and a heart, death trap heart, store heart, money. She's wealthy because she stole my fucking heart and made it into a death trap. Wealth, not not in dollars. In other ways, she's she's been wealthy. 
the knot in my in, in the left side of my butthole. Thirty-seven years, adrenochrome stealing. All these dark circles. This isn't just having implants and having them suction cup into my skull. This is death. Adrenochrome. You can't steal someone's adrenochrome for thirty-seven years, and I've had more than one or two people stealing my adrenochrome. <laughs> they put me into a, sta a state of fight or flight panic for hours, six to eight hours at a time, through days and weeks and months and years, my entire life. I've been in a chronic state. You wonder, I had my first stroke when I was 16. I know things have happened to you and you're injured, your body. Um, I don't know exactly what's in, what you're injured, but you have to be. Oh, I thought the screen blacked out. No, it's... No. <laughs> no. It's not working anymore. I have a gin in my arm. I have a gin. I have a gin in my hand. I have a gin right here. I know I do, because every time I would write, even from when I was in high school, I'd have this burning ball and this tired feeling, and I get so weak I could have to stop writing. I know that you're probably sick of hearing everything about me, and I really do want to hear hear from you and hear about your life. So I've learned that D A J J A L, Dajal, and I'm not pronouncing it like it's someone. I'm pronouncing it because I'm trying to. I, I don't. You, when I say Dajal, you don't know what it means. You don't know how to how, what it, what the word is. You might. D A J J A L is the Illuminati leader. So when you go Rakia Dajal, and then that's going to pick it up because the Illuminati has been the problem, the the main problem. All of my family members are Illuminati. I have co cousins in NASA and step step brothers is NASA, the Navy, the Pentagon, and they've all ranked. They've had businesses, uncles with businesses. They've all ranked while using me, pushing me down, they've ranked. Every single family member on both sides of my family. I was born into a satanic cult and I was supposed to be a sacrifice, that's it. I actually really was excited to show you about this flavor. Trop tropical cherry, tropical cherry from Target. Their, their food is really fresh there. I don't usually shop there because it's expensive. But I got like uh, some stuff there and this is like soda to me. Sugar-free soda, I love soda. And something about the carbonation, they say carbonation's acidic, but I believe it's, an, there's, it's alkalinizing because of the something it does. It's not acidic. It says, say the first 10 lines of the Surah, S-U-R-R-A-H, and you'll be protect, protected from Dajjal. I still have to do so many things, I'm not doing them. I'll be there blocked or I'm too tired and sick to do everything. They say to blow on, recite and then blow on air. I don't, I don't like blowing. I've had a problem with blowing. I don't like the feeling of blowing. I wouldn't, I'm not saying like, I would want, 
my twin flames breath on me and air on me but I wouldn't I don't like I don't like the feeling of blowing on me that's probably because of the digitins in my body also I have a thing with saliva I don't think saliva is completely clean I've had a thing I've had a, a phobia with saliva for a long time and I hope that it stops Rakia Curon channel I already talked about that Listen to the ultimate Rakia for gin controlling brain because that's definitely happening to me. And then it says, okay, I'm not gonna skip that one. I get really sick. When I think of all the notes I need to write up, so I, wrote, I I printed all of the supporting evidence of all the attacks that I, I got from this person, uh, DW, like hundreds of it, hundreds of attacks every day, uh, like letters, shapes, colors, objects, every single activity I do in my life, blah 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 blah. So I have to write notes of all these things, not just for the court or for the government, just for me, <laughs> for, for my twin flame to know what happened to me. Um, and I can't. Um, I go unconscious. I get sick. I get mentally, um, I, go, I get into a state where I'm very, very paralyzed. I can't, like, bad things happen in my body and my mind. Um, episodes of unconsciousness uh, and very scary feelings and disturb, like, just awful. They stop my, they stop my stomach and chest from breathing when I think about writing notes about what happened to me for 20 years. I can't, I can't, like I stop breathing. So I don't want you to think that I'm just like, whatever, hack into my computer, torture me and kidnap me and terrorize me and um, do all this evil uh, to me nonstop. And, and I, I don't care, I'm ignoring it. Well, I had to ignore it to cope because it wasn't going to stop. And I had no, not a single soul that would help me stop it. Not a single soul my entire, for those entire 20 years until my twin flame got in my, I met my twin flame. And the whole way I met you is completely like, they made it so that I wouldn't think that you were even my twin flame. Like they messed with me so much like I don't even know what they even wanted me to believe that they were controlling and they were the ones that actually told me who you were and to me like it, it's t I, I didn't I do not understand everything it's completely blocked still but uh, maybe you were actually telling me and they had to cover it up maybe you were trying to tell me and your higher self was trying to tell me and when I was at Mount Shasta, that's when you connect with your twin flame. So, anyways, try and list our Lumerian channels. We're channeling the Lumerian technology. We're like antennas. So when we listen to the Rakyas, it's doing more things than just helping our body and our mind. It's like we're being an antenna for the Rakya. I can't explain it completely, but y you know. You probably know more than I know. And that's why I can't be with you, because you have information that I need to, to know. But, um... Honestly, I can't make all these videos and, and not say, yeah, I want to be with you. Can't contact me, and like, obviously I can't. But obviously, I'm not trying to trigger you and act like there's a reason, like you just don't want to. 
I know that there's a reason, and Lumerians have told me he's following instructions. Your twin flame is following instructions, and he is not allowed to contact you yet. And see, see some of this expression I saw in the last video, and I'm feeling it. It's not me. They're like just trying to steal my energy by like being so expressive. Oh yeah, DW's hair is so fucking creepy. He's got these weird like curly, curly cues, like pubic hair almost. And it's, it's like to this like bowl cut. Uh, it's, that's the worst style in the universe, on the planet. It's the worst haircut in the universe. The worst type of hair in my opinion. And no offense to anyone else who has that hair. Unfortunately, it, his hair is not like other people's, like his tween boobs. And if he cuts it short, he looks like a fucking serial killer. So he's screwed either way with his hair. And I, I'm, I'm talking about this person because, not because like, I'm just telling you. <laughs> this dude's fucking forced me to fucking uh, notice his, not his presence, but he's been messing with me for too long pure parasite. He's been fucking parasite and sucking the fucking energy off of me. Extreme vampire got a lot of his cult members involved. Especially his assistant. K-R-Y-S K-R-Y-S-T-Y-N-A space M-A-C-M-I-L-L-A-N um, I'm not even going there. Um, they were a couple and I was waiting for him to not be a couple with her. <laughs> I, 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 it was all controlled. It was all set up because I had talked to a psychic and said, who is DW to me? Who is he? Is he, is like, am I going to be with him in the future? Because no, they don't, he doesn't like you. And he, she, she said, no, this, this person is doing bad things to you. And I was so mind controlled, I forgot about the conversation, it was all blocked. And I couldn't do anything about it anyways. And I was forced and mind controlled to still believe I was going to eventually, I was never going to be with this person. If he ever decided to contact me, I was gonna say, I, actually, I'd probably be too scared. I'm terrified of this person for one. I'm beyond terrified. If I saw this person on the street, I would probably have a stroke um, or pass out. So, but this person, um, what was I going to say? I never attempted to contact this person. He has been kidnapping me and forcing me um, not to think about him, but to have to observe his... Uh, whatever he's saying to me constantly on the advertisements and the messages on the hacking into my computer and everything and he has like to he likes to say that all the people trying to kill me um he's the cult leader of all the people trying to to kill me um that's not the truth but he, uh, this thing has mental retardation mental retardation Pure, 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 pure mental retardation. Both of them. The twin, the twin flames clone. His wife, heart, mouth, eyes open. That's that's a sign of mental retardation. And I've seen photos of DW where he looks like he's fucking drooling on like in the inst like just like this energy of drool. I can't even explain it. Like it just you can see the energy of mental retardation in his face when I saw his face. You can't obsess with someone for 20 years and try to, try to, um, like literally he's, he's told me I'm going to die so many fucking times. He, he told me that he's, go, he's going to manifest it because he's telling, like, telling me so many times. He's manifesting my murder. Anyways, um, yeah, so do the Gin Busters YouTube account. Ask Allah to cure your soul. I put that one on uh, strokes and scoliosis. 
He's a little irritating to listen to, but it's because probably the demons are getting irritated. Uh, it, it, it's a little, but it's good. And that was stuttering, that's not me. Huh. So... So if you get nausea and all these sensations, which I know you are, it's because it's working, the rachias. And also, if you if you um, obsess, stalk, torture, torment, kidnap, attack, terrorize, rape, uh, physically it just slow kill someone for 20 years, you have little brains. Imagine doing this to someone. This person has little brains. If any. What's going on in this dude's mind 24-7? If I'm getting attacked this much for so long? Little brains. Little brains. Telepathic supporter also said, told me that. So, um, let's get back to my Twin Flame. Uh, the Twin Flame's clown, his wife, cannot like her child because the men in the clone, the men, not man, are not hers. I think I said this in the last video. So, when you're looking at the child, you're saying, this is, I don't own this child completely because when you have marriage and then you have a baby, it's, you're both owning it and like you don't feel like you're just partially owning it. But if you steal someone's DNA, multiple people's DNA, and then have a child with it, you don't own that child completely. She should not be able to raise it. She's abusing it with all the face, different faces and personalities of the clone. Her parents should not be able to raise it. That child has to be taken from her. And there's no way my twin flame is going to raise that child. Uh, that's physical, that's, that's mental torture. That's physical mental torture for both of us. So, and I know for a fact my twin flame would not raise that child. That's cruel, that's human cruelty. That would be human cruelty alone to do that. Um, no, no, that, no, um, I'm gonna talk about some more most important things. Some of these are just not important right now to talk about. And the DNA that was taken was not my twin flame's actual what do you call it? It wasn't his sperm. So it was a mutation, it was a mixture. So that changes things. You can't replicate an original body. In in the universe, in in, in in the universe, in God creation, you cannot replicate a human body. So that stolen DNA. And people keep saying it was authorized. He like, come on, just shut up. Like, shut the fuck up. I'm so tired of this V2K. I'm so, so, so tired. You don't, you don't understand the fatigue. There's no amount of rest I can do because all I do is lay down there and I get fucking attacked in my head with all these thoughts that are inserted. There's no rest for me. And I'm sure my twin flame's not getting any rest either. You can't replicate a clone. You can't replicate an original body. Like, did you? Did you? Um, shut up. Artificial creation is synthetic and lab grown, so that also changes things. But no, your live. It's your. It's your, it's your DNA is living, so we have to kill the DNA to to agree. It has to. It has to die. And in the Ruckus, they did a little. Uh, DNA with burning, DNA symbol of burning on one of the channels, and that gave me the, the hint that we can burn, we can literally 
not burn it, kill it, but transmute the DNA because it was because it was not created by God the, through that clone. Uh, Alyssa threw out her... T oh yeah, I had two laptop cases and there were talismans. They were being used to hurt me because one of the laptop cases uh, was from a fashion brand where the woman who was the owner of the fashion brand killed herself. Sorry if I didn't explain that well, but... And the other one wasn't my style. So they were really... They were hurting me, the laptop cases. I know it sounds silly, but... And I want to tell you everything. And when I meet you, I want you to tell me everything. Every thought you have, I want to know. I want it because you're my twin flame. Um, there's all to, uh, and there's all kinds of things that I want you to know. And that and share with you. I'm very bored and lonely. And that's how I've been my whole life. Very bored and lonely. Uh, we were supposed to meet each other in our twenties. It would have happened. It would have happened. This it was all blocked. We would have been psychic and then telepath connecting and then meeting like immediately. It was blocked. We've been we've been kept separate. So when we are together, we're not going to leave each other's side. We're too old. For one, and then. Also, neither of us are going to want to leave each other's because we're both going to think that someone's going to die. And it's not going to be safe to go live out in the country in the middle of nowhere. It's not going to be safe to go live in, live in a city building. It's going to be, I don't think it's going to be easy. I really appreciated that um, TP though, because I'm hoping that it, it was because I um, told you that your name reminds me it's a little Native American. So they do mean a lot to me, um, even though you, you you're not you're in danger and it's not safe for you to talk to me. I understand that. And it means everything to me that you're watching. And I feel like the luckiest person that you're watching and listening to me. And you're the only person I really want you to listen to me. I mean, thank you listeners if you're watching, whoever is watching. Most likely if you're watching, you don't like me. And if you do like me, maybe you'll help me. Maybe you'll help me in my twin flame in the future. But yes, it means the world to me that you're listening to me. Okay, so just a few more things, and I'm going to stop in two hours, at two hours. I believe, the, I, I believe the DNA that is in the child. Um, will be removed somehow with Lumerian technology, and not in an evil way. Because you're going to, I mean, no, you're going to, they just want me to trigger you and get you all upset. That's AI. They, they want me to hurt you, like think that I'm hurting you about it, and I'm not. I'm not saying everything I should say. I'm not saying everything, I don't remember everything I want to say. <clears throat> but I'm hoping, I'm hoping with uh, my work that I'm turning some of these uh, people into creatures, full-blooded creatures. Because AI is a weapon, and if you walk around with a gun, you use it in a criminal way. You get that gun taken from you. So you get this AI, this AI taken from you because you guys use it as a weapon. And I, ha I have it in big words. Do not get mad at Shia. He's in trouble, he's sick, he's weak. 
I apologize if I'm not being gentle. Um, no, I, I, I see, I don't know if these thoughts are mine, so I don't want to say it. Okay, it is my thought because I touch my ear, and when I see your ears, I love your ears. I love every body part on your body, obviously. But you're going to be my little baby, and we can, we'll have children, but they're going to be our children. But you are going to always be my little baby forever because you're my twin flame. So that's never going to be taken from me, my little baby. You, Jaya. This isn't my tears. It's trying to humiliate me. Mm, I'll talk about that. It's like besides the point right now. So. Yeah, I've still, I have been told that um, the clone's wife's trying to get people to kill me, and po obviously probably you, but they're all being surveillanced. They're being surveillanced, so it's not allowed. There's too many people involved. That And that's what's going to help us in the courtroom, because there's just too many people involved. If, if the lie detectors were used, So, the Twin Flames clone wife steals my Twin Flames DNA and then makes a child with it. And then, he, she wants to kill him. And he want, she wants to kill his future wife that's been waiting for him. That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? That's a, that sounds like a criminal that belongs locked up. 40% of crime in America goes, um, get, they get away with, 40% of criminals in, in America alone get, get away with it. So, but it's because, and I don't know who, if, who remind me, Satan against Satan. If we're not Satanists, Satanists can kill Satanists. Evil people can kill evil people because God didn't create evil. So that's I think that's why a lot of crime gets... No one does everything with crime. I mean, that's why not all crime is stopped. Because it's Satan against Satan, not Satan against Creator. And when I say Lumerians, sometimes... Uh, Lumerians are our spirit guides, and Lumerians are the closest to God. Like, they're the messengers of God. So God gives Lumerians the message and then helps us. Or God gives Lumer the technology. No. Anyways, I might say some things wrong. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. So, I think I'm going to end this video. And we'll talk about this next time. Uh, I wanted to talk about happy things. My stomach does feel better. So I'm glad I made this video. I hope that you watch it soon. Um, and I will be playing that rock yacht, protect my husband, because uh, I've been wanting to find a rock yacht to protect you. For sure. I mean, this it's the best thing, and I'm not allowed to say the word best for. Um, and that was AI to try to manipulate the situation when I was having a nice, good ending to this video. 
let's just uh, share with you maybe a couple screenshots. Oh, I haven't found much about your name being Native American, but Shiawassee, Shiawassee, it has Shia in the beginning of the word, and it means sparkling waters, rolling waters, sparkling waters. I think that's really nice, and we're definitely connected to water. I think water is part of our supernatural thing, and I just, I'm right next to the ocean. I'm like a 13 minute walk from the ocean. So I'm getting energy from the ocean and I think I'm channeling energy from the ocean. And I just looked at uh, a video. I'm subscribed from, I'm subscribed to this uh, person called Alex, Alex, Collier. He he has he talks about you know um, dissension, and he says uh, you know oh, what's something about channeling the energy of the ocean. You can get energy and power from the ocean, so I believe that I'm working with the ocean, being so close to it. I don't know where I was going with that. Yes, so. I'm going to get off the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will be I will be making a video on Saturday. I wanted to make this video because I felt like it was really necessary to talk to about some of the things and not wait a whole two weeks. Uh, I think that also those, you're going to really like those ruckus. If you can play them. I, I'm sure you can. I've been told that you were playing them and they're helping you. I can't. I, I don't believe that you're not using the ruckus because I know that they're helping you and I can feel myself feeling better because I know you're doing it, doing them. So anyways, is there anything else that we should talk about before my, before I get off? Is there anything else? I need to find something else besides this. I don't like it. It's not a good texture either. you like sh my twin flame to know about and thank you everybody for for watching if you're watching I, I hope that it was interesting happiness yeah I've been told that you're happy because of these videos and because we're connecting and Things are improving and better progress. I, I've gotten happiness. Uh, I've checked from time to time. Like I, I, I have gotten happiness from you. And I am feeling happiness. Knowing that you're watching. And we're connecting. I'm getting a lot more telepathic messages. So I believe that there's some of these messages are from you so we I, I don't want to get into that um, that's AI that's not me look at my teeth I gotta use teeth whitener by the way and I hope that that doesn't like make you grossed out but a lot of the uh, fill fillings can stain easily and I've been drinking a lot of coffee I do have some teeth whitener, but I have to do it more often than just once on a while. Anyways, thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you in a few days on Saturday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, about four days. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and night.